Hello, what's going on everybody? This is Jay from Maji and Jay and today we're going to be unboxing here as promised the Cubot X9 and this is the model that I got from PandaWorld.com and even though I paid exactly $149 for this particular model, there's a coupon code in which I have provided on the description down below. It is for about $15 so you can get this phone for as cheap as $135 as well as the L phone G7. It has another coupon code of about $12. So you guys are going to notice that on the description of the unboxing of the Elfone G7 as well. So here just to get started, let's go around the box. The first thing we can see on the front, it says here keep in touch and then we have the Cubot logo. On the left side, it's going to be the website for the maker. On this side, we just got a barcode with this Q number. On this side, the same story, we just got the website again and then here it's going to be plain. If you look into the bottom, this is where things get interesting. We can see here the branding and also the model. And then here we can also see that it does carry 2 gigabytes of RAM. And it is an octa-core device. And for $135, I think it's absolutely amazing. But I'll be recapping the uh, specifications in just a moment here. But first, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we have inside. The first thing we see here is the Cubot itself. We're going to be putting this aside for now. Impressively, for $135, you guys are going to get a case, which I was very impressed to see here. It is not the most protective case out there, but at least it's free and it is included inside the box. We also got here a quick start guide and as you guys can see, it looks pretty cool. I do like the combination of black and red. It makes it look very nice and stylish. When we open them, we can also see that they are in English. So this makes it very easy and they are for this specific device. They're not in general. It is basically telling us how to use the device, how to use the camera. They are very detailed and as you guys can see, we also got many pages. So this is definitely a plus. Inside we had the same sticker with the IMEI information and then here we have a SIM ejector tool. That's because the back of this device is sealed. We cannot remove it and it comes with a 2200 milliamp battery. Also inside we got here a screen protector. This is definitely great here for US buyers because we know that accessories like always are extremely limited for these devices. So this time we got a case and a screen protector. Then inside we're going to have this very cool divider which is telling us what the uh, two SIM trays do. The great news about this device is that it is a dual SIM, dual standby device and also supports TF cards in one of the slots. So that makes it unique, at least in my opinion. Um, and then on the back here we have uh, pretty much a sketch telling us what the buttons are. So this is also great. Let's go ahead and put this aside. And then we have these two boxes dividing the wall charger in which again I got the European wall charger. I'm very unlucky with that. And here we're going to notice that it is just a standard uh, 5 volt charger from Cubot. And then lastly we got here the USB cable. It is the Micro One. Let's go ahead and find out. And as we can see, it is made by the company Cubot. And yes, it is the micro kind. Nothing very special here. And it is quite long. So I was quite impressed to see that because Chinese devices provide very uh, cheap accessories for the most part. But in this case, it was a little bit different. And now let's go ahead and put all this aside and jump back here to the phone. And now jumping back here to the Cubot X9, the first thing we can see is that on this wrapper we also got the branding very similar to the Phone G7 and also many Phone devices that I've seen before and maybe that could be an indication that they're both coming from the same factory. Removing it out of this film, the first thing we find on the front is a 5 inch multi-touch screen. It is a 5 point multi-touch with a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels and yes it is an IPS OGS display. On the top, you're going to find the proximity and light sensor. We got the ear speaker and the 8 megapixel sensor camera. On the bottom, we got the menu key, the home key, and also the back key. On the left side, it's going to be plain. Then on the bottom, we do have the charging slash data port together with the microphone and the loudspeaker. And here we're going to compare it briefly, at least body-wise, that it is very similar to the iPhone 6. And here I have the original iPhone 6 from T-Mobile and we can see how similar they are on the bottom already except that this one uses the 8-pin connector from Apple. And this one is going to be the standard uh, micro USB cable. On the right side we find here two SIM cards. Now the awesome thing about this phone is that it supports two SIM cards but you can also use this SIM tray to um, upgrade the memory. You can install a TF card up to 64 gigabytes. We also got the power button and also the volume rockers up and down. Then on the top, it's also going to be plain except that on the Cuba X9, we're going to have the 3.5mm headphone jack. And then here on the back, we're going to find the 30 megapixel sensor. We got the LED flash. 
And here we have the sticker giving us here some more information about the device on how to install the SIM card and whatnot. We can also see here that it is a WCDMA 850 and 2100 for 3G. So that means that it's going to support 3G with AT&T here in the USA, which is a great thing. Now let's go ahead and remove this uh, protector on the back. And this time the back, even though it looks like aluminum, is going to be made of plastic. It is not aluminum. But for the price of the device, I was expecting that. And then finally here we have the Cuba logo. And now the battery is going to be integrated inside of the device. And it is a 2200 milliamp battery, 3.7 volts. So I'm hoping that it's going to last me the whole day. And with that being said, let's go ahead and remove here this uh, screen protector. And as you guys can see, it comes pre-installed with one. But I don't like the fact that it does have a lot of bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Okay, there we go. We have removed the screen protector and what I like about the screen is that when it's off, it's matched perfectly well with the remaining of the bezel, making it seem like one piece. So let's go ahead and power on and I already seen the boot logo and it's quite nice. As we can see here, it has a white background this time on the back and the Cubot logo is kind of a golden color and it does have some animation to it. And also, I did confirm that this is running the Android KitKat 4.4.4. So that's one of the latest KitKats before Lollipop. Okay, and now that it has put up, here we see the lost screen already. I have seen this operating system before on some other device, but right now I really can't remember on which one it was. But I gotta say guys that it is quite snappy and it does have a lot of features. And this device is also going to have gesture control. And we can see right here that we do have the gesture wake and we're also going to have some gestures uh, to answer and decline phone calls. It's not going to work for the actual operating system, but at least it's a feature that we have on there. Also, the LED flash on the back, I already tested it and it is quite bright as we can tell also. Um, it does have, like I said before guys, some many great specifications. Uh, this is running the MTK6592M, it is an octa-core processor and the screen does have very nice and bright colors. And then here I can try to show you guys the viewing angles but it's going to be hard with the light on top but on the review video I'll be showing you guys how nice it looks when the lights is off. And the only thing I don't like so far about this phone is that the menu key and the home key, they do not light up as well as the back key. Uh, something that it is quite hard, especially at night time. If you guys are trying to view the buttons, you're going to have a very hard time unless there's a light that you can view it on angles and they do glow. So that helps a little, but it is not one of my preferences, but for $135, we really can't complain. And then here on settings, we're going to go to about device to confirm that this is the Android KitKat 4.4.4. And here we can see that yes, it is the official one. I already confirmed it using some software. As a matter of fact, I already restored the device uh, before making the unboxing. So yes, guys, I kind of cheated a little bit by doing a pre-unboxing myself, but I just couldn't resist as the device does look quite nice. I mean, I was uh, waiting for this for quite a long time and finally I got it. And of course, I'll be keeping you guys updated with the review video, but before we finish the video, I also want to mention that it comes already pre-installed with Gmail, YouTube, and many other Google applications like the Play Store. We even got the Maps application. Uh, we also got here, I believe, Google Chrome. So it does come with pretty much all the Google applications, so you guys don't have to root it or customize it in order to get them on there. And with that being said, guys, uh, stay tuned for the review. I will also be reviewing the G7 very soon. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. Please like the video, subscribe for more, and have a good one.